Hello and welcome back people. My name is Russell Afshar. This is Chris Bridge and we have a superb video for you today. It's about the fish die off and it's a whistle stop tour of this year from January to July. So it's very, very concise and very, very informative. But guys, before we get to the video, I um, just want to quickly show you this. Um, a lot of people are not being notified to the videos that we are releasing. The fix is hit the bell button. So guys, please hit the bell button before we move on. Great. Okay guys, so today we're looking at some major fish kills for 2017. And we have one or two stories from each month of this year. So you can get more of an overview, how many fish are dying by natural causes. And people, there are so many headlines, we cannot cover them all. So we've had to condense them down to just a few. Now there are biblical reasons why these things are happening, but we'll look into that in a bit more detail later on. So please uh, bear with us and all will become clear. So let's begin with the headlines and video. Okay, 11th of January, 157 tons of fish have died in Lake Toba, Indonesia. Uh, a drastic change in water temperature and oxygen levels is thought to be the cause. 26th of January, Chile, millions of dead sardines washed up on a beach and it's the first time a phenomenon of these characteristics has occurred in this coastal community and that is a serious amount of dead fish. 3rd of February now, over to the Philippines, massive fish kill wipes out Lake Cebu's tilapia stock, 1300 tons of fish have died. The fish kill is unprecedented and unbelievable. Authorities blamed heavy rain, spawning floods and turning the water turbid. 15th of February, thousands of dead fish wash up from the Gulf of Nicoya, Costa Rica. Take a look at this video, it's unbelievable. The fish died due to high temperatures and a decrease of oxygen. 23rd of March, Thousands of dead fish wash up in a lagoon in San Luis, Argentina. Have a look at the video. And the story says that something similar happened five years ago under similar climatic conditions, which was very hot weather. 23rd of February, uh, 1,200 tons of fish have died throughout four districts of Bangladesh. So it's in different locations. And the fish kill was down to falling oxygen levels in the water due to the formation of ammonia gas from rotting vegetation after flash floods. So natural causes. 18th of May, massive die-off of fish in China due to disease. The peak daily fish deaths were over 120 million jin or 60 tons per day. So 60 tons of fish per day were dying due to disease. 31st of May, Brazil. Uh, about 50 tons of dead fish are removed from a reservoir and the suspicion raised by experts is low levels of oxygen. 14th of June now, over to the States. This is Texas. Massive amounts of fish mysteriously washing up dead along the coast in Texas. And take a look at this video. And the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department are currently investigating the incident and think it may be due to an algal bloom. And blooms have caused other massive fish kills in the same area. And finally, 18th of July, hundreds of tons, guys, hundreds of tons of fish have died in fish farms in Indonesia due to bad weather. So people, the effects of the weather and disease is having extreme consequences and killing the fish. Now, we know that some people blame Fukushima for what is going on, but we want to point out that this massive die-off of life began way before the event at Fukushima in March 2011. Statistics from the WWF tell us that from 1970 to 2010, that's one year before Fukushima, there was a 39% decline in marine vertebrate species. So 39% of sea life was already gone a year before Fukushima. Now from 1970 to 2012, so that's one year after Fukushima, 
marine life actually improved. The decline went from 39% in 2010 to 36% in 2012. So there was a 3% increase in life in our seas one year after Fukushima. But guys, we are not saying that Fukushima has had no effect whatsoever, but it's clearly not having the effect that some people think. And I want to point out as well uh, that freshwater life continued to, to decline uh, from 76% in 2010 to 81% in 2012. So it was down another 5% in two years. So what is killing the animals? Well, this is from the WWF. Now, in the chart, you can see what causes the loss of life uh, for freshwater and marine life. And it's broken down into five categories. Now we cover events that are related to categories one and four, which is climate change and invasive species and disease. By climate change, we believe the earth, that's the land and the ocean is warming up and we are seeing the terrible effects of this across our planet. Okay, fresh water life. 4% uh, of the losses are down to climate change and 12% of the losses are down to invasive species and disease. And uh, marine life, approximately 15.5% of the losses are down to climate change and 5.5% of the losses are down to invasive species uh, and disease. So overall, only a small amount of the total losses are through natural causes, but it's still very bad because we are talking about millions and millions of sea and freshwater creatures dying through natural causes. So it's still extremely serious. Okay, now we don't believe that man is causing our climate to change and warm up, having these catastrophic consequences on life and our weather. We strongly believe it is God that is doing it because we are not living how he wants us to live. So God is sending us strong warnings, warning signs that have already been foretold in scripture thousands of years ago. And the Bible says in Zephaniah uh, chapter one, verse three, it says, I, God, will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of the heaven and the fishes of the sea and the stumbling blocks with the wicked. And I will cut off man from off the land, saith the Lord. Now you may think, why would God do that? Well, let me ask you, do you know how God wants us to live? Have you any idea? Because it's so simple. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 3, verse 23, and this is his commandment, God's commandment, that we should believe on the name of his son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he gave us commandment. So that's it, guys, to believe in Jesus Christ and to love one another. That's all that God asks of us. Yeah. It's a simple message. Mm. And I just want to just refer back to, we get a lot of comments, people, and some people think that, oh, oh, God's vindictive, oh, he's nasty for doing that. Guys, 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 seriously, like, just listen. There is a system in place, okay? And we can see it right through scripture. If God's people do what they want, they walk away from God, the land's cursed, the people are being kicked out of the land, and all sorts of stuff's going on. And it's the same today, people. If we walk away from God, then stuff happens. And part of the, part of the mechanism is the fish dying. And Chris read the scripture out. That's the word of God, people. So we're not into making stuff up. We're going. We're, we're trying to identify God's ways and God's judgments. And do you can you recognise God's ways and God's judgments? Do you know what God's ways are? That's where we have to read the Bible. We're not into making stuff up, people. This is about Scripture, and it comes back down to coming to the, to to Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who came to save. You know, He came to save us, and and His commandment is to love one another. So that is the fix, people. Don't overlook that. We have to come to Christ and we have to learn what is love and how to love. Because mm. you know, it's, 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 and, and, you know, it shouldn't be a difficult thing to do to believe in Jesus Christ because 
The Bible is, is really a book of testimony and, and people saw what Jesus did. They saw what he did. They heard what he said. They, see, they saw him die on the cross. They saw him risen from the dead, hundreds of people, and they saw him ascend through the heavens. You know, and they witnessed this stuff and they wrote it down for us so we too could believe. And on top of that, there are so many people out there who have had experience with, with Jesus, real experiences. I mean, we have, but there are some people who've had incredible experiences, who've seen Jesus, they know he's real. So guys, everything is there. Everything's laid out for us to say yes to Jesus. And, and it's not a difficult thing to do. We've just got to want to find out the truth and to believe in him. Yeah. So, so, so the decision's yours, is what we're saying. It's, it's for you to, to make that effort and to come forward. Yeah, and this is not a, a, like a, a scaremonger or fearmonger video. This is just giving you the facts and the scientific facts of what's mm. going wrong. We're giving you the scripture just to show you how God judges. And it's down to you to turn to the Lord Jesus. Mm. Really, that's... And, you know. That's right, yeah. Because, I mean, guys, God is a God of love. And he showed that by sending his son, Jesus, into the world to suffer a brutal and horrific death on the cross. Mm. It was awful, but he went through that for us because he's showing his love. He's basically, I don't want to lose you, is what he's saying to us. And this is what I'm willing to do. This is what I'm willing to go through for you. So, so... He's not a vindictive God. He is a God of love. And, but he suffered it must for us. Be, he's, he suffered for he's, us. He's and, suffered. He, and he stretches his arm out saying like... And, and we keep doing know. this with his hand. Yeah, yeah. Constantly yeah. pushing it away. I don't yeah. want anything to do with that. Mm. And he's saying, well, you know, I've sent my son and all I'm asking for you to do is to believe in him and to love one another. What is so bad about that? Mm. What is the issue? You know? Yeah, so, what's, the, what's the problem? <laughs> That's kind of where we're going with this. What is the problem? So, yeah, yeah. so, so, guys, you know, so, so this is a plea really to, for you guys out there who don't believe to, to really to come to Jesus and to learn about him. And, and guys, we've got Bible movies. You, you can see what Jesus did. We've got audio Bibles. You can listen and, and gain in, in the knowledge and, and understanding of who he is and what he's done and, and all the things he said and did on earth, you know. So, and testimonies as well. Testimonies of people who have seen Jesus, you know, Today, in this day and age, we, we've got so much. And for our you, messages as well. To, yeah, and our teachings. Mm. But there's so much there, guys. Um, it's all there. So, so Stop it's messing down about. to you. Yeah, it's down to this you. is a hard hitting message, guys. Some of you are on the fence. Get off the fence. Make a decision. Mm. Do you want to follow him or don't you? Just mm. make a decision. You know, that, 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 that's, it's just mm. make a decision. Stop messing around. Yeah. Open up your heart. Stop making stuff up. And, you know, really do. Um, you know, do your questioning. Ask God, are you real? Who are you? If you're in that stage, do that then. Ask mm. him. Go through that process. Mm. But just stop putting it off. Yeah. And, you know, if you do know the Lord Jesus, then, you know, let's, you know, get back into the word. Get mm. back into prayer. Get mm. back into the Bible. And, you know, Definitely. let's start helping mm. others. Mm. Good mm. message. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. All right, well, we'll leave it there. Um, yeah, just... Thank you all so much for the support. We've just gone past 100,000 subscribers. Mm. Thank you so much for that. Um, um, we put some links below for all the things that Chris mentioned, especially yep. the sermons, the Bible movies, everything. You know, have just get back into the word, people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and like the video. <laughs> we'll see you soon.